we're about to talk to a woman whose rage went viral. Her name is Amber Lynn Gillis. She considers herself an anti-masker and has earned the nickname Starbucks Karen after a post of her lashing out at a Starbucks barista went viral. And Amber Lynn claims that she was denied service at that San Diego Starbucks when she refused to obey the coffee shop's COVID safety guidelines and wear a mask while inside the store. Amber posted this photo on Facebook shaming the 24-year-old employee for what she says was discrimination. I saw the picture when it went viral. It got sent to me several times over. And Amber joins us now from her home in San Diego, California. Amber, thank you so much for joining me. Um, so I know you've posted about masks and COVID on your social media, and you have your views on that. I want to go to this confrontation. So take me inside. You walked into the Starbucks, and you t t start there. You go inside, you want some coffee. This is a Starbucks in your area, right? Yes. Yes. So I walked into the Starbucks to get some uh, decaf beverage because I can't actually drink caffeine because of my condition. Mm -hmm. And he said that he wasn't going to serve me. So he and I said, you're really not going to serve me after I was just here the day before. And we went through this. And he said, no. And he pointed to the sign. So what did I got the sign upset. Say? I, what did the sign say? I didn't read it. I, it had a, a mask mandate requirement. I didn't really take time to read it. To be honest, I said, I have a condition and I don't need to tell you what it is or show you my exemption. That's against ADA policy. And I left because everybody was um, cheering him on. And I did get upset and called people sheep. You called I got in my sheep. car and I, mm -hmm. yes, I did. I got um, upset and overwhelmed with feelings of um, dread and doom, thinking about my kids being in school all day behind the masks. So in they that second, very... hang on, Amber, because so you're in there, and yeah. I'm just trying to get to understand this. So you're in the Starbucks. Mm -hmm. You go in, you order your coffee. He says you can't. He points to this sign. You don't read it, but I'm sure it had clearly something that made it clear to you, yes. no mask. And then yes. you go to a place of worrying about your children and dread and doom in that instant? Because I would have thought, okay, let me go to Dunkin' Donuts. How did you start well, to... It's, it's not just with the bat masks, it's, it's starting with the masks and then it's ending with the vaccine. So it starts with coffee, but you know, it ends with school enrollment or whatever it is, it's discrimination and it's, um, stigmatizing members of society for, uh, shame and fear okay, so to you, live out of You that got place. upset and then you, what I find fascinating, we have the video, you then got in your car and drove around. I didn't leave just yet. I didn't drive around. I got in my car and I thought about it. And then I thought, I got to get my phone and take a picture of, of him and make this go viral. But I didn't really believe it was going to go viral. Yeah. Can I show the video? <laughs> Let me show the video of once you yes. did get in the car and went to the drive-thru. This was a different, uh, this was a different time. I don't. I have a medical exemption. Are you recording? I am. You're live. Because I'm sick of being discriminated against and I don't have a mask. I have a mask and a, a medical exemption. You guys are going to be sued. Okay. I'm suing you. I want your names. Regina, who else is on staff right now? I'm the manager in charge right now. Regina, Here this is discrimination. So you said that's a different Starbucks? Yes, that was the one down the street. The first one with Lennon didn't have a drive through Okay. So, um, so I, I got the response to go to a drive through So I went okay. to the drive through and they denied me as well. So you had one confrontation inside, another confrontation outside. Here's what I'm trying to understand, Amber. You know none of these people own the Starbucks. I mean, these are kids. These are people working minimum wage. Starbucks is a conglomerate. Why not write a letter to Starbucks? Why not challenge the the corporation oh, but but why take it I out on corporate. why take it out on a I kid take it out on them i was documenting what happened i wasn't you taking it out to on sue anybody them, but you but you know that if you're suing them you're not suing yeah. the young yeah. lady well, what in the they're drive doing through. is against the law there's the there's who california civil section code 51a when you say they who is that the staff the staff who has one job and that's to serve coffee or beverage drinks so with which you, they didn't do i know you're a business you want to open a yoga studio so if Say you are fortunate enough to expand it and you have employees and someone's not happy with the yoga studio, would you want them to threaten your employees? It depends on for what. If they were discriminating, you okay. can sure as bet I would start an investigation and they would probably be fired. 
because I, I don't put up with that. <laughs> I know that <laughs> you've also talked about the concern of your children, your kids. Were your kids with you in that drive through? Yeah, they wanted cake pops. Yeah, but their cake pop experience turned into something pretty, I would imagine, hard to see their mom getting into it and yelling at people who just work at the coffee shop. Well, any they shut regrets the door on, on me. How, any any regrets? They on... shut the window, yelling. They were not well, listening I, I, you to know me what? being very rude. I'm, I understand, and I'm and I'm sure <laughs> they shut the window because they saw someone yelling at them in a manner. I didn't that... yell. Okay. I didn't even yell though. I any, wasn't even I'm yelling. Just, any any regrets at all by the way you handle? Again, no, we talk so much not. about workers. We talk so much about no regret. No regrets. Okay. None, because I'm right. here with you, and I'm bringing awareness to every, every, all the atrocities and and the draconian mandates. Okay. okay. I, I mm -hmm. think you're bringing awareness to something else, and you may not realize it. But Amber, thank you so much for your time. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you talking with me.